Hey guys, it's Raid Rabombi here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn with Sean. Hello. Uh, Luna? Oh, you're not Luna. Excuse me, I was supposed to investigate the source of a loud noise. <laughs> oh, oh. That would do it. Mother, the Pokemon seems to have appeared on top of the house. Say what? So it has. That explains why we couldn't get to uh, get the balcony door open. Hello, who might you be? My name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I suppose I'm the town's gym leader now. As for the shop, I'm afraid we might be able to look there. Why don't you come inside? You too, Bennett. What type is she, I wonder? I'm gonna say it's psychic. It feels premature to do this. Sean? So you're at Sarah's estate. Right, Sarah Volklane was once a famous model, so she's all about beauty and reflections. Her gym mirrors this, literally. Sarah loves to play games with her mirrors, increasing evasion, lowering accuracy, and even performing critical attacks from hidden places. In the mirror arena, changes to evasion and accuracy affect the frequency of critical hits. Be careful not to take a surprise attack, but if you can boost your own stats, you'll be at an advantage too. Besides that, consider using beam and light-based attacks. These moves can be reflected by the mirrors and will always hit. Other light-based moves will be stronger too, including her signature Aurora Veil. The defense boost is a lot to fight through, but I have faith you can break through. I think she uses ice types. Yeah, now, now she said all that, now I think it's ice too. Well, greetings, my name is Bennett. <laughs> As you heard, I'm a leap a derp <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a I'm a lepidopterist. You know a person You know a person who studies butterflies and moths? Something about how little insects can go from what they are to something so much more is just so exciting. For instance, did you know that Cascoon have perfect memories? Despite never moving or doing anything, they'll never forget a battle. Then, once they evolve, they're remarkably able to exact any form of retaliation for what happened earlier in their life. When you think about it, they truly are small geniuses. Bennett, I think that's enough. You might be boring our guest. Yes, mother. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that reminds me of, uh, fucking Toad Dude or Lizard Dude from Super Paper Mario. Uh, oh, Francis. <laughs> yeah, Francis. Yes, mother. So, you were hoping to reach the Pokemart. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't really know what to do about this. As I'm quite sure you've noticed, really strange things have been happening in this town the past few days. And I may be a gym leader, but buildings dropping on top of each other is not something I'd planned for. Honestly, all we can do... All we, all, all, I'm just going to reset. Honestly, all we can do might be to hope that it decides to reappear somewhere better. As it is, you're welcome to stay here until the situation changes. Incidentally, you're a challenger to the Reborn League, aren't you? And as I mentioned, I happen to be the Ice-type gym leader, you were right. Luna is also a gym leader. Yes, yes she is, but we're not talking about her right now, and she's not... Here. Oh yeah, I, I got their names mixed up, so this is Sarah, and then Luna is someone separate. Right. Sean, have you at any point seen a young girl with very pretty blonde hair and a fancy black and white dress? And a really pretty everything? That's enough, Bennett. I'm sure she'll come back if she wants to. That sounds like Victoria, right? Kind of, right? What kind of hair did she have, did Bennett say? Uh, I forget. I know, she, <laughs> I, know I, I know he said she was wearing black and white. Okay. I suppose I, I should explain for our guest. Dude, Bennett is simping for Victoria. Imagine, dude. Luna, or is, or was my adopted daughter. Oh. She randomly appeared one day. Apparently things around here have a penchant for that. And that, and claimed that I was her mother. And I am, by the way, quite sure that that's not the case. <laughs> I've only had one child, and he's right here. Or there. Nonetheless, I couldn't just turn her away. 
And she is a good girl, but I can't just go on playing house with her forever. And now she's run off again, so that's good. Everything does seem to slip away from me eventually. Anyway, I don't know how to go about finding her real parents. It's not as if they're just going to randomly appear at our doorstep one day. That's what's well, gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, well, someone is at the door. Bennett, would you go get that, please? Is it Team Meteor? Oh. Uh, Prosper... Oh god, what the fuck. Prosper <laughs> Prosperitas, Pax Passis, Opsequem. Blessings of the Lord Arsus upon your house. My name is El, a servant of our Lord Arceus. Welcome, El. How can I help you? I don't suppose you're trying to get to the po- Oh, <laughs> god damn it. I don't suppose you're trying to get to the Pokemon too. Incorrect. Rather, I have come looking for my daughter. Dude. You you can't mean Luna. <laughs> so you do know her. Very good. Luna is a child who has lost the Lord's light. She walks a path of darkness, and as such, she turned her back on me as well. My daughter has denounced me as her father and run away. I have come to reclaim her. Well, that's wonderful, but I'm afraid Luna ran away from here too. And to where... And to where might she have gone? Have you any idea? She didn't say anything. She disappeared just as quickly as she came. I wish I could say the same for the Pokemart. <laughs> or half the guys I've been with. God. We just met these people and they're already giving us too much information. I agree. Mother, please. <laughs> Bennett, are you sure she didn't say anything to you before she left that might? lead us for, that might be a lead for this man what <laughs> no oh that is i don't know i see miss sarah volklane is that right i have traveled some distance to get here and i am most distressed at having mr company i would be most obliged if you would allow me to rest here for just a short while that shouldn't be a problem in fact you may have arrived at a rather entertaining time is that so I believe Sean here uh, was looking to challenge me. L, Bennett, will you show... Ugh, I'm sorry. L, Bennett will show you to the spectator seats. Sean, I'll prepare for your challenge now, so please meet me in the arena behind me. Best of luck to you. We're doing this, like, right now. That's crazy. It is, honestly. All right, so what's our game plan? Uh, oh man, yeah, I guess we should go prepare for an ice type gym later, huh? Yeah, because Wackford ain't it, right? <laughs> Probably not. Wackford got to sit this one out. <clears throat> we do have Arcanine. Getting rid of Fire Fang may be a mistake, but whatever. Mm, perhaps, <clears throat> but overall, it's probably for the best. It's just, it probably would have helped here, but yeah. Can't can't predict everything. Goose Nukem is back, baby. Uh yeah, I think that's our best lineup, right? Yeah. Um, Crocker Crocker probably gonna be good because of the fact that it's probably gonna be partial I, I'm gonna call like, you know, maybe a jinx or like uh um not clearly, but uh Frostlass. Um, oh, yeah. stuff like that. So, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, Crocker will be helpful, too. I'm actually gonna, so, like, my original reason for bringing out Muck is because I don't want to forget to give him Black Sludge. Mm. But also, he has good special defense. I mean, we could just use him instead of, uh, Goose Nukem. You can try it, yeah. Uh, I guess I never addressed this. A curse doll that brings ruin on anyone who keeps it. Cool. I mean, I'm sure we're already experiencing that without it, so... That's me. <clears throat> you know what this... I don't know why it reminds me of this. You know Paper Mario 2 when you get to Twilight Town and they just randomly turn into pigs? Oh, dude, that's kind of what it's like. Yeah. Um, is this locked? It shouldn't be. Oh. Oh, there's gym trainers, oh. Alright, um... This is, this is an actual real-life gym. Yeah, we're doing it, alright. Oh, I forgot we have Lumpus. He's gonna be good too. Yeah, the Lumpus Crocker duo. Oh. <laughs> what? 
Okay, there we go. Welcome to Miss Sarah, Sarah Volklin's Mirror Arena. I'll be happy to assist you, if you're worthy. I was kind of hoping that would have been a double battle, but okay. Ooh. Mirror, Who's mirror on the field. Who shall this fractured power wield? Was that what it said? <laughs> what the fuck? I think so, dude. When was the last time we fought a gym trainer? Probably like before the break, right? Right. Because there was Shade, and then we fought Kane's sister after that, right? Yeah. So yeah, neither of those gyms had trainers, so yeah. Kiki neither. Right. Oh yeah, Kiki too. He, he. So you want to say you're worthy then? Welcome to the Miss Cerevol Claims Mirror Arena. Need a tip? You'll have to prove yourself first. I hope we didn't miss the field effect readout for the mirror field. Oh, dude, Amora's cool. It is. I fucking love Amora, dude. Like. The <clears throat> one of the two playthroughs I did of Six Gen, I used it, and honestly, really fucking fun Pokemon. Yeah. If we if we could get an Amora, that'd be dope. I'd be down. <clears throat> as long as he doesn't. As long as they don't have a snow warning. <laughs> yeah. So Amora is like one of those Pokemon that like aren't that great, but, like, it's just so cool you use it anyway. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, I think Amora's usual ability is, like, turns normal-type moves into ice-type moves and, like, boosts their power even beyond that. I think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this place, in order to tell where to pass through, look for the point where symmetry breaks. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's a brittle wall. A Pokemon may be able to smash it. Are you kidding me? Alright, <sighs> Do we actually need a fucking Rock Smasher right now? What kind of moves does Scythe and the Broad have right now? Uh... Rain Dance or Uproar can go. I'm really paranoid about getting rid of Rain Dance because we might need it for a Fire type gym one day. Hmm, fair enough. Alright, I guess I'll just leave. <laughs> on my way out, I do kind of want to investigate this up here. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. Just random stuff. Silk scarf. Silk scarf. That boosts normal type moves, right? Oh, this is this is a uh, Victoria's room. Wait, how do you know? It's all black and white. Oh shit. I think so. Dude, that's so fucking weird. <clears throat> we didn't know anything about Victoria like that until now. Yeah. What to watch? Uh, let's see if we can get a profile on her. At least I think this is where you get the profiles. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, leaders. Uh, I'm your host, DJ Arkalike, on the air. Here we go. A former model, Miss Sarah Volklane, has made a career change and is now breaking up the battle scene. For trainers daring to bear Sarah's feral onslaught, beware and take care to prepare for this icy hell of a fight. Always one for keeping appearances, Sarah's arena is covered top to bottom in mirrors. Her stealthy Pokemon, notably Frostlass, you called it. Called it. Enjoy dancing in and out of the frames, both silver and glass, with a tinge of aurora for shine. Defensive and sneaky plays are the name of her Pokemon's game, so reliable attacks or those that can shatter her screens can be your go-to. Brick break. Mm -hmm. Before going in, reflect on how... Before going in, reflect on how you can see past her tactics and pin the pin-up model down. That's all for now. Alright. Very cool. I agree. I want to look in Bennett's room. <laughs> false wipe. He says a fucking false wipe. His room is fucking, like, looks like the up, dude. Like, just the color scheme. Locked. That's her room, probably. Oh. Oh. Oh? I don't know whose room this is. This is, this is probably Bennett's room. Oh, maybe you're right. Bug memory. Is that for Genesect? Is it? I think it is. Weakness policy. Weakness policy is really good, but I think it only activates once. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a one use item. To be held by Pokemon, attacking special attack sharply increase if the holder is hit with a move they're weak to. A memory disk that contains bug type data, it changes the type of the holder if held by a certain Pokemon. That's Genesect, right? It must be, right? 
<clears throat> can't think of anyone else. <clears throat> Another bug, like ancient robot Pokemon that could use that. <laughs> and this is Sarah's room, okay. Hey, here we go. Mirror Arena. All we had to do was look in her room. <sighs> That's fucking nuts. Uh, Poke Gear, Field Notes. Excuse me, how many are there? <laughs> There's like 38. <laughs> All right, mirror, mirror on the field. Who shall this fractured power wield? Critical hit rate up when... Critical hit rate is increased by one stage for each of the attacker's evasion accuracy buffs and the target's evasion accuracy debuffs. This sounds like a load of barnacles. <laughs> I wish Mux would minimize. <laughs> Enables? Yeah. What do you mean you enables Aurora Veil? <laughs> Does she just always have it? Aurora Veil is the one where it's like reflect and light screen, but only if you're an ice type, right? I think so, yeah. What the fuck? So ice types just get reflect and light screen by default. Oh, so they're buffed. We're basically fighting like permanently buffed defensive Pokemon, but it works out because Ice is a poor defensive type, so I'm not that worried about it. That is a good point. Miss attacks may reflect when special non contact moves that would miss will sometimes be reflected, hitting the target anyway. Certain reflected attacks times two damage. Uh, oh god. Okay. <laughs> Moongeist beam, Psy beam, Solar beam, Tri attack. Missing hit. Missing physical moves to recoil. Wow. Certain abilities boost evasion, color change, illusion, magic bounce. These items boost evasion. Bright powder and laxant sense. I think we actually have laxant sense and bright powder. Yeah. Illuminate lowers accuracy. Magic bounce. Greens last for eight turns. Oh boy. Goddamn. Is she gonna stack a reflect and light screen on top of Aurora Veil? It could happen, it wouldn't surprise me. Your coat increases evasion, defense, and special effects on successful use. Also, who did we put in the PC for Rock Smash? Uh Quagsire. No, I'm saying who did who went in the PC? Quagsire. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, we oh yeah, we haven't gotten our, our Rock Smasher yet. Okay. Mirror shot never misses. Also does times two damage because of course it does. Mirror shot effect chance is 100% now. What the fuck? These moves have 1.5 damage and they never miss. Light that burns the sky. I'm not familiar with that move. <laughs> Me neither. Signal beam, techno blast. Terminated by these moves. Oh, you can get rid of the field effect uh, if you use Boom Burst, boom burst bulldoze. bulldoze, Earthquake. Hyper Voice Magnitude, Tectonic Rage, but read that back really quick. Pokemon behind, protect moves including Wide Guard or having Shell Armor or Battle Armor are immune to the Shatter damage. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go, Wackford. <laughs> Dude, hold on. Read that back. Then go back. Terminated by these moves and damages all active Pokemon for one half their max health. Okay, all right. That's the part I was confused about. Yeah. So Wackford could actually be really good here. The problem would just be getting him to survive one turn to use Earthquake. Yeah. We could just negate it all altogether. Hmm. I think we might have to because I feel as though even though Ice is a poor defensive type, the only way we just outright just smash through. All that defense is being over leveled, which we clearly are not. Yeah. So we're we're, ab we're about where we need to be. So having Wagford might not be the worst idea. It's just who do we get rid of? Because we have good. I, I feel like Seismitoad, right? I guess so. Yeah. He actually does a decent job taking ice type moves, I think. But uh, as for our Rock Smasher, that's a little rough. Um, Carla has Rock Gem, which is kind of neat. I hate to Probably bench. Muck. I think Mock, dude. Uh, I guess so, yeah. I was kind of eager to use Black Sludge, but whatever. It's fine. There'll be more opportunities. <clears throat> Hopefully we can just, like, open the way uh, with Rock Smash, and then we can just, like, leave and come back in. That would be nice, right? Yeah. Also, we can test out our, our Wackford breaking the field effect if we have another Gym Trainer.
The shattered glass hurt Sean. What the fuck? <laughs> How's that even work? I don't know. Um, next time on Pokemon Reborn. We're gonna figure this out, because this is some trippy shit. <laughs>